<laughs> Here he is. There's Luffy. Say hello. Hello. Luffy's adoption profile is now up. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Your adoption profile is up. We're going to find you a good home, sir. Oh, lots going on outside. It's very focused. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. <laughs> He's just so sweet. Other than being a little potentially bitey. <laughs> He's so sweet. He's not like bitey, like out of nowhere bitey, but he has certain triggers that he's sensitive about that you gotta kind of like be careful. And they're like not regular, it's not like everyday things. It's not like giving him food or like taking him out for a walk or those kinds of things. Um, he's terrified of brushes, like he doesn't want to be brushed. Um, and I tried to put a, a different harness on him the other day. I'm going to try a different one. I think it was just the style of harness, but he's, he's, he's scared. Like he's definitely scared of it. Um, so that's what we're working on. But other than that, he is just a sweet, sweet little protector. Hi, it's Anne here. And today's video is my monthly buys and buys video. So this is the video that I do every month where I go through all the things that I've bought or brought into my collection and all the things that I have said goodbye to. I typically just exclusively talk about makeup, but sometimes I throw in a couple of other things here, like house things. At the beginning of the year, I was on a no buy, so I was talking about like all sorts of random stuff, but, but we're back to beauty, except for there is a couple of items that I did buy that's not beauty that I don't have right here. So I'm just, I'm just going to go grab them. I will preface this video with a little face that's in the corner um, that there's definitely more on the buy side than on the empty side. That is how July just went. Uh, July is my birthday month, so I am tempted a little bit more to treat myself. Uh, so the first thing that I just want to talk about that's not a beauty item is I bought Two, two candles. They're both the coffee and whiskey scent. I have this scent already um, in a candle. It's a, it's a dark brown. It's a different packaging um, from last year, and I love this scent. Uh, there was a candle sale where they were thirteen. I want to say thirteen ninety five, and then I had a twenty percent off coupon. So I paid twelve dollars and fifty cents for each candle. I was gonna buy a coffee and whiskey, and then there was another one that was like brandy and something and I liked that one um I just really like this one and I almost bought just one of these and like maybe a vanilla bean but I feel like this is such a unique scent that it's not going to come out regularly compared to like vanilla bean that's around all the time and again if that brandy one is around like the next time candles are on sale maybe I'll buy it then but I just I really wanted to buy two of these um it's sort of like this sweet smoky coffee scent you don't get a whole lot of the whiskey part that's more of like just sort of like a smoky bit um but yeah i just i really like the scent of this what does it say bold irish whiskey splash of vanilla hint of coffee yeah like there's not a lot of coffee coffee it's like not a coffee bean smell yeah i just i really it just smells like a library like den like if i had a house and i had a room where i had like walls full of bookcases with a big comfy chair and a fireplace this candle would be in that room. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, I bought two of those. I'm not normally one to buy like so many, like I don't normally buy backups of things, but with this, I made an exception because um, I just love this scent so much. And the one that I have like on my shelf, I have not been burning because there's only like this much left. So I was waiting until <laughs> I could make sure I had at least one backup. So yeah, that was kind of a I don't want to say excessive, but yeah, like a backup purchase that I really, you know, I could have not bought either of them because I still do have one, but it's like, there's very, very little left. Um, okay. So purchases, real purchases on beauty. There's a lot. So let's get into this. So the first purchase I made was with Sephora and I purchased two Olaplex products. Um, the Olaplex products were 50% off and I had been thinking about purchasing this anyway since I have been bleaching and dyeing my hair. I've talked about this a few times. I'm actually putting together a whole video reviewing these so I don't want to talk about them too much. I have used this before just when my hair was like natural like no I hadn't dyed it, bleached it, nothing and I wasn't too impressed with it on my like natural hair. Um, so yeah they were like 50% off so they retail for around $41 so I got them for 
well, and that was the reason why I bought both. <laughs> I probably would have just bought this, but I decided to buy both because they are supposed to work together. Um, this one's supposed to make this one better, I think is what they say. Um, so yeah, and that was my first Sephora order as of 2023, which just seemed wild to me that my first Sephora order was not until July. So go me. Um, my no buy kind of worked <laughs> in some ways. Because I thought that might have been my only Sephora order, I did pick up my birthday gift. So I did pick up the Glow Recipe birthday gift. Um, I kind of looked at a lot of their stuff and there was one that was nice, The I think it's the Way one, but I've used those products. I still have a couple I think left. So it wasn't really worth it to me to get that one. And these products, so the it comes with the Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tightening Toner, which I know I like, I've bought that twice. And the other item is the Glow, uh, watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops which I've never tried and I've always wanted to try and I just talked about in a previous video how I kind of missed having niacinamide in my skincare routine since going on the no buy I've just been kind of using the skincare that I have really paring things down quite a bit um, compared to what I've done in the past and and I'm looking forward to bringing these into my skincare routine shortly I haven't used either one of them I'm still working through the ordinary glycolic toner which is going to take me a while um because it's big it's a big box Model. Um, and I feel like I just don't want to bother opening this one until I finish that up but I don't know I might I might use this because I know that if you don't use like some people have said I think these are like a clean beauty yeah it's a clean beauty brand so I might want to start using these and maybe hold off on finishing the ordinary glycolic uh, toner I haven't really decided yet but now that I'm thinking about it and saying it out loud I probably should start using these because uh, I don't want them to go bad on me and then there was an add-on with that order. I, I got this, it was like one of the like enter a code thing. And it's the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Glow Serum. When I got this, I was like, oh, this is like a decent sized sample. Um, but then when I opened it up, I'm like, oh, not really. Uh, it, it's kind of tiny. I don't know if you can see my hand. And I have super teeny tiny hands. Um, it's kind of a really small sample. So I, I thought like maybe I'll get like two uses out of this i might i might not i want to just try it on a day where i don't want to put any foundation on um it's just the serum it's not the like foundation serum because uh, it's there's two different kind of products that look kind of like this there's one that's an actual foundation and this is just the like serum um but yeah and this is in the shade main squeeze but i'm not even sure the shade really matters a whole lot um why don't i try and do a little a little squeeze of this it reminds me a lot of the BoxyCharm, shoot, what's it called? I've got like that, uh, I'm gonna put it on the screen because I can't think of the name of it at all right now. I can picture the little bottle that I have. It reminds me of a lot of that, um, which is just like a, see, it's just kind of tinted. I don't know if that's like, can I, will I keep rubbing it in and will it like kind of goes away? I guess it kind of looks like you have glass skin. Um, but yeah, I am I was curious about it, so, and it was one of the few things that I was interested in for an add-on, so I threw it in, might as well, right? Um, so that was that order. And then I was in the drugstore, and I picked up these guys. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing on my lips today. This is the shade Punchy in the Maybelline Vinyl, Superstay Vinyl Inks. Um, I did buy a previous shade in this, and I knew I wanted to buy, I, I knew I wanted to try this shade, but I kind of didn't want to try the shade because I was like not sure if I'd like it. It's in the shade Cheeky and it does feel, it does seem a little, I don't want to say pale. It's just that gray, it's a mauve tone and that gray tone kind of looks a little funny on me at times. Um, whereas I prefer like a brown tone and this brown is not super deep. Um, it looks a little lighter on camera just cause like the lighting, um, it's kind of a dark day. So I've got it a little bit brighter. Um, again, I'll do a couple of swatches of these. Um, so the top shade will be cheeky. And I do really like these. I like the way they feel. I like the way they look. I think out of all the Maybelline products though, and I only have one of them, so I want to try more. I think I like the crayon version. They're very comfortable. Um, I like the, the regular matte ink for longevity. Um, and I like the way this looks because I like that it's got, it's not matte. So the top shade there is called Cheeky and then the bottom shade is Punchy. So they're kind of in the same depth, but one is more brown and one is more pinky mauve. 
Then I picked up a couple things at Winners. Uh, so the first thing that I picked up is the Elf Cookies in Dreams uh, Putty Primer. So this was like the limited edition version of the Putty Primer. Um, I've used it a couple times. I like it. It's nice. I thought this was supposed to have a scent, I think, because this is an older product. There's really no scent to it at all. So, I mean, whatever. <laughs> um, but there's that. And I got this for like $7.99. Oh, these lip products too. They were... They retail for like $19.99, at least downtown Toronto. I think sometimes it retails for $18.99 at different stores, um, and they were $10.99, so that's why I ended up picking them up, because there's no way I was paying $19.99 for those. Um, this was, I think, around, oh, I can tell you the price, because I've written everything down. This was $5.99 plus tax, and it retails for around $11, $10-$11. So again, like everything I bought was like a deal, <laughs> like or cheaper than regular price, I think. I don't think I bought anything full price this past month. Um, I also picked up this. This is the Give uh, by Gwen Stefani brand. This is the IC in color eyeshadow palette in Just a Girl. So this is like the whew, a little crumbly there. This is the like pinkier one. It's not super pinky. It just got a bit of warmth to it. So again, I'll, I'll do a little swatch of these shades. Yeah, that pink shade is, this shade's very crumbly. I like the mattes in this. They're very nice. It's a very easy eyeshadow to wear. I feel like if you're like a no fuss, no muss kind of person, then it's a really good eyeshadow palette for you, but I would not pay full price for these. So hopefully you can see that the fourth shade's really hard to see on my skin because it's very, very similar to my skin tone um, on my hand. But yeah, you can see it's a pretty natural. Yeah, that pink shade's everywhere though. What is happening? It is crumbling. Maybe this is why they were on sale because <laughs> that shade is just all of a sudden crumbling like everywhere. I don't know if you can see that. And it's like crumbled all in my little basket here. So yeah, like it's all sort of crumbly. It's very weird. But anyway, there is there is that palette. Uh, I do enjoy it, um, but I would have not paid full price for it. I've said this, so if I do see the like all matte one, I'm considering buying the all matte one because uh, it seems like a, a practical little quad to have to like pair up with other eyeshadows and then the other thing i bought from winners and marshalls was this this is kind of i don't want to say it's a regret purchase but this was like i didn't really need to buy this um it is the fairy lights in bare brilliance i think this is getting phased out or discontinued based on what i can i don't know i just have suspicions of that um i was like let me show you a swatch i don't have a swatch in my hand at all what am i doing <laughs> i think i'm tired i think i need some coffee on the website, like the Pixie website, I feel like they make this look a lot brighter and sort of lighter than what it is. It's definitely a bit more deeper. Um, it's got like a purpley base to it um, and a lot of glitter. And that glitter, it doesn't full on fall out. So I wore this the other day and it does wear away, but it doesn't like really fall out like all over your face like I was expecting it to. Um, but it does wear down. Like it's not bulletproof type product. Um, and again, that was $7.99 and it retails for, I guess I can throw the box away now. <laughs> I've been keeping the box so I can have the price prices on there. Um, and it retails for around $20 Canadian. So that those were all at uh, Winners or Marshalls. I think Winners is where I got all those. Then, then I placed a second order <laughs> at Sephora. Um, I actually went into Sephora and did a ton of swatching. My hands, I had like perfumes in different sections. <laughs> like I was just all swatched up. Um, and I was actually going to maybe buy stuff in store and then I changed my mind and waited till I got home um, and then thought about a few things and then I placed an order. So things that I bought, the first thing that I bought was this perfume. Um, it is the Replica Perfume and Coffee Break and I'll put the notes on the screen. I think I talked about this in my Get Ready With Me. The notes are like coffee, lavender, and it's milk accord. I think I said vanilla accord in that video. It's like a, somebody described it in one of their like comments or like reviews as like a, a lavender latte and I was like yeah that's a good that's a good description of this um it's got a little hint of sweetness it's not super sweet but it's definitely got a hint of sweetness the coffee note is not strong like it's there but it's kind of like it's actually okay, I'm just gonna see how similar these things are okay no I was like oh my god this thing but it's the same kind of thing, like that coffee is in them, but it's very, very light. Again, it's more like latte type coffee. Um, 
to me, this is a bit more of a fall scent. It looks like I've used a lot of this, but I've actually, I, ac I accidentally spilled some of it. So that kind of sucked. Um, and I'm pretty sure, again, I don't know the size on this, um, but I'm pretty sure this is smaller than the other replica mini travel size that I bought years ago. And it's in a roller ball. It's in beach walk. It's actually what I'm, what I'm wearing today. I like beach walk, although I don't know if I'd repurchase it just because there's so many different scents out there that I'd like to try, but I do like beach walk. Um, but yeah, so that was kind of like a splurgy thing, but I'd been looking at getting replica stuff for a while. Um, I was looking at getting, they had like a cough ret set with like four and then they had another like discovery set with I think like eight or something with like, it just pains me to buy, spend money on like those minis. But I mean, at least you would get to try all of them. Um, cause I'm contemplating by the fireplace and jazz club. Um, but I went with this one instead. And I'm not really sure why <laughs> I think this was a total switch up because I was pretty sure I was going to get like one of those other two and I ended up getting this one. So anyway, that's how that went. Um, then I also got, this was the thing that was like the driver. I knew I wanted to purchase this. I'd been eyeing this over and over and over again. I'm really happy with this purchase. It's the NARS Afterglow Sensual Shine Hydrating Lipstick and Devotion. A number of people have been talking about these. These are new as of this year. I think they came out in the spring. And yeah, I got the shade Devotion, which is super confusing because online it looks like a mauve color. It looks kind of more like, you would think it'd be more like cheeky, but it's more like um, punchy. I'll just swatch it right beside those two. I'm gonna kind of go over that serum a little bit um, just so you can see what I mean because it just, it's more like the bottom color than the top color. But on the website, it looks like it's gonna be more like the top color. Like I feel like their swatches are completely deceptive. But, and so I'm glad I went to the store to try like the different shades to see, because I think if I had just seen the shades online, I wouldn't have known which one I was gonna pick. I probably would have picked the Dolce Vita one because that's like a tried and true um, shade. Uh, there's a couple other shades though that I'm like, man, I would really like to buy those. I just like this formula. It's really soft. It's easy. It's a little sheer. It's one of those you just throw it in your purse. You can throw it on without a mirror uh, kind of lip product. So I'm really, really happy with this. So I haven't talked about retail prices at all for these. This retails for $38 Canadian. The perfume retails for $43 Canadian. It's really pricey. Um, then I picked up this uh, mini caviar stick. So this was all in one order. Um, the Laura Mercier Mini Caviar Stick Eyeshadow in Moonlight. This is the mini, and the interesting thing with the mini is the mini is a different shade than the full size. Um, I did post this again, and I think it might get ready with me or somewhere, uh, but maybe I'll just post it again. I know those aren't the most exciting videos, and most people don't watch them. Or very, not most people, but a lot of people don't watch them. It's getting really bright all of a sudden. So there is what that shade looks like on my hand there. And I'm gonna put up on the screen the swatch that I did in the store of the other one. Let's maybe make this a bit bigger. <laughs> Let's swatch this a little bit more. I've used this a few times. I really like this. Oh, again, I meant to grab, you know what? I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab the other one of these from the birthday gift from last year. So here's a swatch of Moonlight on my hand right now. And then I'll put on the screen the full size swatch, which is way more gray toned. This one is just a bit more, I don't know. I like the mini shade. I like both shades. They're just different. Um, yeah, I was, and the reason why I was curious about this, but I wasn't mad about it, is the swatches online are different as well. And I was like, are they really different? Like, that seems odd. Um, so I bought the mini to, to actually see, are they really different? And yeah, they are. So this one is strapless. Um, I'll swatch it just below. So you can see they're, they're not the same. And I feel like strapless doesn't have that same brightness that Moonlight has. Um, and it's a bit more warmer. So hopefully you can see, yeah, those two shades there. The top one is Moonlight, and then this one is Strapless. They are similar, but I feel like that brightness on Moonlight is what I really like, because I have deep set eyes. So I really appreciate getting some of that lift from that brightness with Moonlight. It just sort of helps bring some of the depth, like my eyes, you know, they are they're deep set. You can see they're deep set, so it just sort of brings that depth out a little bit. Um, and that retails for $22, so those are expensive. And then I did get a deluxe size sample again with a code in that order. Um, it was the First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub in tem with 10% HA. I have used this already. It was sitting in my shower. It's very gritty. It's very much like a sand type uh, product. I don't really get KP bumps that much anymore. I get them a little bit. I used to get them a lot. Um, I get them a little bit. So I, I am trying this to see if it's worth it for me. I'm not 100% sure if it's really worth it for me. 
Um, cause again, it's not a huge, huge issue for me. I, I'm just maybe not as bothered by it anymore. I think a big thing for me is using the body moisturizers cause like for years I didn't even use body moisturizer cause I hated the way it felt. Um, uh, and like I scrub like with like a, a, not a loofah, but what do you call those? Like the sponges. Um, oh my gosh, I can't even think of the word. You know what I'm talking about? The little shower poof, poof thing. Um, I use those with body wash and so, and I do have some other like body scrubs as well. So I'm not 100% sure this is worth it for me, but I have heard people say, if you really, really experience like really bad bumps on the back of your arm, this is a really, really good product to try. So, um, and just like from a aesthetic perspective, I would say it's a nice product. Like I like, I like, I've used it twice now, I think, and I like it. It's a nice product. Um, so if it's something you're inter interested in, I think it's worth it. It is a pricey product. Uh, are not super pricey, but it is kind of expensive. This sample though is actually not a bad deal because I got it for free. I shouldn't say it's pricey. It's not that bad at all. It is, let's look it up. I think it was like $38, $39 for the full size. So it's not bad. Um, and that's a pretty big size, 226 grams. So never mind. It's, and you can get a mini. I do love products where you can get a mini. Same with like the glow recipe stuff. You can get minis of the glow recipe because if you're not, you don't want to commit to a full size. You just want to try it. Minis are the way to go. Even though from like a dollar perspective, they may not like have the same value. I still think they're worth trying or worth it if you just want to try the product. Um, and then I have one more purchase. Uh, this was like a kind of random. It's the Batiste dry shampoo and wild daring vanilla. I haven't actually used this yet. I'm running low on my dry shampoo. I'm not out yet, but I bought this in advance because I didn't want to run out of the dry shampoo and be like, ah, I have no dry shampoo. Plus I didn't want to, you know, when I was ready to buy it, go to winners because I bought this at winners. Um, and they didn't have any because that sometimes happens, right? You're like, you see it and you're like, I don't need that right now. Um, but I can buy it later and then they run out of it. So, so this, and these are like massive. These are big. Um, there's 350 mil and I think the normal size is like 225 or something. And the normal size is 12.99 at, yeah. Well, the one I like, cause it's the brown one is 13.99 shop for drug mart. Um, so you're getting a, a decent price, not like a super good deal, but you're definitely getting a deal buying it at Winners or Marshalls. Um, so yeah, so that is the buys. That was a very long buys. I'm hoping my camera does not cut me off. <laughs> Let's just restart it for a second. I've been talking for a really long time. So the buys, it's interesting because it felt like a lot. Like I felt like as I was doing it, cause I did two purchases at Sephora, I bought a couple things. And I think with not really buying a whole lot, I mean, I know in Scotland I bought stuff, but that was a very different, different experience. <laughs> like it just wasn't like, like I was just buying stuff here. You know what I mean? It just felt different. Um, so this felt like my real first month of really purchasing stuff. And I felt like, I felt like I bought a lot, but then when I looked at my list, I'm like, oh, it's not as bad as I thought it was. I thought I was gonna be like way higher. So my total dollar value was $162.71. Oh, I should mention like, the, so these things were expensive and stuff. I had, thanks to my coworkers, so I did start a new job in March and I, so I left my other job and I got a little gift card from my coworkers to Sephora. So that went towards towards that purchase. So that purchase would have been like a hundred and something dollars, but I spent like $46 um, because of like tax and stuff. It didn't cover the whole thing, but it definitely like, it definitely helped and made my, made my purchasing a little smoother. So yeah, I spent $162.71. The retail value though was $352.05. I feel like that was really, really good. And I did bring in 15 products, which was still one less than in May when I did the shopping in like Scotland and Las Vegas. I don't, did I? Yeah, I bought one thing in Las Vegas. Um, so again, it wasn't as like much as I thought it was. I think the other thing though too is in this month, it was seven makeup items. And that was a pretty high number for me when I, that's the one thing that I was kind of really conscious of for the no buy was my makeup items. Um, but overall I was like, oh, okay, that's not bad. I'm, I'm not mad at all. <laughs> I'm totally okay with that. So, so yeah, that was my buy side. Now let's get into the good buy side, which is going to be a lot shorter. <laughs> so my buy side, I like to talk about um, declutter items. Sometimes I talk about things that are just like other items. Like if I finish up a candle, I like to talk about those. Um, and then I talk about empties. So the empties, the things that I actually used up fully, are the things that go towards the empties value and I talk about dollar value and get recorded in the list. Um, I did do a declutter video, which was my first real 
first real declutter <laughs> like ever um and yeah i had a whole, whole bunch of stuff that's been decluttered i'm not gonna go through through all of this but um all these things have been decluttered well the palettes the palettes have some some work to go on them um but yeah everything else like all this stuff decluttered and then thanks to a few people that noticed i missed a couple of stuff a couple of things in my video i know two off the top of my head that i did miss one was the uh, lash primer and then the other was this this is a can't even there's no letter oh there it is it's marabella eyeshadow primer I think it's just gone. <laughs> I think it's gone off. So, so yeah, I'm not going to talk about any of these items specifically. Um, I do, like I said, I have to deal with these palettes because I'm going to dismantle them. Um, same with this. I'm keeping the packaging for this, um, but getting rid of the pan that's in it. Um, so yeah, a lot of decutters. So I mean, that on that on the whole of things going out of my life and letting go of stuff, I did excellent. <laughs> but when we get to these empties. <laughs> It's real sad. I didn't realize how sad it was until I went to like, you know, I do my tallies like right before I film. I was like, okay, I gotta add everything up. So the first item is this. It's the Bath and Body Works Happy Vibes um, Body Moisturizer. I basically bought this because of the packaging. I liked the packaging and the name, Happy Vibes. The scent was kind of like eh for me. I wouldn't repurchase it. The scent is pink citrus, crispy pear, fresh honeysuckle, sheer vetiver, and dewy orchid. It was fine, kind of a fresh, a fresh, slightly floral. It's not, wasn't too floral for me, but more of just like a fresh with a hint of floral. Um, I have another one that's in similar style packaging called Summertime Surf, and that's what I'm using right now. They were both kind of half used because um, I bought them last year and I used them for a bit. I think I've said this before. I used to kind of use these, like I'd use one fully and then use another one fully. Like I was always very committed to just using one. This past like six to nine months i've been more like using one for a bit putting it back pulling another one out so they're all kind of getting used at different levels now which is i mean it means that they end up lasting i don't want to say longer but normally i'd finish like one of these like a month or one every two months like fairly consistently and now it's kind of all over the place for finishing those um, I use this, so I've been trying to get, get through some of the minis and samples that I have. Um, this is the Make Prem Peel Me Radiance Peeling Sleeping Mask. I didn't care for this. It was fine. I used it up, but it's one of those like gel type moisturizers. I don't know why they even call it a sleeping mask or peel me. They say it's peeling. I, I, don't, I don't know what it did. It just felt like a gel moisturizer to me. Um, so I wouldn't purchase this personally. Uh, I think it came with like a Gustavo Vanna order or something. Came with an order. Um, cause I don't think I picked this out myself. Um, I also finished this Biosance. This is the Biosance Squalene and Lactic Acid. And I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get roasted for this, but I still like everything I've used for Biosance, I haven't cared for. Like it's just not done anything for me. Not that it's been bad. Like not that I've hated any of it, but I'm just like, meh, <laughs> like I don't know and this is one of those things but this is also like the lactic acid reminds me a lot of the good jeans product from sunday riley which i've used i've used more than once i did buy a set way back when sunday riley became popular um i bought like a set with that and the mid midnight oil or sleeping oil it was like a blue oil i didn't like either one of those products i actually kind of hated them i hated the smell of them this reminds me a little bit of that because it's the lactic acid um the good jeans product and again like the good jeans product i just don't think lactic acid i don't know i don't get anything from it um and if i'm gonna use like an acid i prefer using like the glycolic acid or like the bha toner um lactic acid's just not my jam it just it just isn't i know it works for some people and some people really like it it's just not my jam and then there was this kind of i'm just gonna say it, it was a crappy sample from guerlain it's the abiel ab, ab no ab I'm just Abile, Abile Royale, <laughs> um, double our renew and repair serum. This, the serum was so like, there was so little in this packet. It's like a double sided thing that it was like impossible to get out. And I'm like, it, it did nothing. <laughs> there was like one half sample on my face. Like it just, it was a crappy, crappy, crappy sample. Um, I don't know if the product was really any good because it was so little product that I could barely tell if I liked it. And then I do have one makeup item that I finished. So I did finish the Laura Mercier 
tinted moisturizer in the shade sand i like this product i would consider repurchasing it except for this doesn't exist anymore they've reformulated and repackaged and rebranded all of this um, there's a couple different kinds of moisturizers now um, but i would consider repurchasing one of those uh, this was i think i don't know if this was the mini this is 30 mils their new product is 50 mils but they have a mini size that's like 25 mils um, so this is a little bit bigger than the mini, but smaller than the full size of the new version. And I would get it in different shades. Sand is, sand is like okay for me in summertime when I have a tan. <laughs> and that's it. It is not good for any other time of year. Um, so yeah, I would have to go with like a lighter shade. But, um, again, it was fine. Like I liked the product. I enjoyed using it. And it is now done. And that's the empties. <laughs> that is it. I was very sad. But again, remind ourselves. We have a giant box of declutter items. Giant box of declutter items. So try not to feel too bad about it. <laughs> um, it was my, actually it was not quite my weakest month. My weakest month was actually February. So in July I used five items, or there's five empties with a retail value of $37.14 and, or sorry, a paid value of $37.14 and a retail value of $81.23. In February, I, I did use six, but the like paid and retail value was like $30. <laughs> so it's not my weakest month, even though I was just like, wah, wah. <laughs> like there's nothing in here. There's so much room for activities because there's nothing in here. So, I mean, it is what it is. Some months you just don't use stuff. Um, and again, so it's just like, it's time. Like, it's not like I used this entire thing in a month. It's just, that's the time that I eventually used it. So, so yeah, I'll put up on the screen the, the buy side, the things that I brought into my life, the things I purchased, and then the goodbye side. Um, way off balance <laughs> this month, but and it's going to be like this going forward for the rest of the year, I think. Um, I, I feel like I don't have a lot of products that I'm close to being empty on. I think there are some, but not a lot. And again, like I said, I've sort of loosened up my no buy. Like I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really on a no buy right now. I'm still kind of being conscious of what I'm purchasing and why I'm purchasing it, but it's I'm not on a no buy if that makes sense. And I don't want to call it a low buy either because there's no like dollar amount or, you know, dollar focus either in what I'm thinking about for the rest of the year. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to give a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.